Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy, and today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2024. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to sketch motion, or how to capture motion and speed in real time using the Puppet Position Pin Tool. Select the layer that you want to animate or add pins to. Then go up to the top menu, click on the icon that looks like a pin. You can also use the keyboard shortcut Command or Control P. I'll just click, You'll see the cursor turns into this little pin icon. Then all you do is just click to add pins. If you ever lose the pins to bring them back, just select the layer. You can go up to the effect controls and just click on the puppet effect. You can also just twirl open the layer, twirl open effects, and just click on the word puppet and that will show you all your pins. When you're ready to start sketching or capturing motion, the first thing you want to do is drag the CTI or the playhead to wherever you want your animation to start. I'm just gonna drag it to the beginning of the timeline. Click to select a pin. To select multiple pins, hold the shift key and click. I'm just gonna to click to select the pin at my belt buckle. I'll then press the command key on a Mac, control if you're on Windows, and you'll see that little clock icon next to the cursor. That clock icon is a timer. The timer is going to start as soon as you start dragging the pin in any direction. The timer will stop either when you let go of the command or control key or when the CTI or the playhead reaches the end of the timeline. I have the CTI or the playhead at the beginning of the timeline. I have the command key or control key pressed. And for this first demo, I'm gonna move really slow from left to right. And I'm gonna let the CTI reach the end of the timeline so it stops automatically. So here we go. Timer has started and I'm just moving really slow from left to right. CTI reached the end, the animation stopped, and there you can see a motion path was created. These are the keyframes. And if I tap U to reveal all the keyframes, you will see all those keyframes were added on this Puppet Pin 6. I'll click on the stopwatch to remove the keyframes, and we'll do it over again. I got the command key pressed, and now I'm just gonna go back and forth really quick. So here we go. Timer started, I'm going super fast, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. CTI reaches the end. And now you'll notice a whole bunch more keyframes were added. That's because I had a lot more movement. And now when I tap the space bar, you will see After Effects captured the time exactly how I did it. So when you select the pop pin tool, if you look to the far right, you will see this record options. I'm gonna click on this, you'll get this little pop-up. So if you ever forget the keyboard shortcut, Hold down the command key, or it'll say control if you're on Windows, while dragging a puppet pin to record animation, which is exactly what we did before. In most cases, you can just keep it on the default settings of speed 100%, smoothing one, and check this box, use draft deformation. Without going into much detail, when you bring the speed below 100%, the CTI is gonna move slower, giving you more time to sketch out the animation but the playback is going to speed up. And if you go over 100%, it is going to speed up the amount of time that you have to sketch out the animation. But when you play back the animation, it's gonna really slow it down. In smoothing, the lower the number, the more keyframes that are added, but the smoother the motion. You can also control the smoothing or the number of keyframes after an animation by using the smoother panel, which you can access by going to the window menu and checking smoother. The higher the tolerance, the less keyframes, but the less smooth of the animation. The quick recap. Select the layer to animate. Click on the puppet pin tool, add pins. Click on record options for some additional settings. Select the pins that you want to drag so you can sketch the motion in real time. Drag the CTI to wherever you want the animation to begin. Press the command or control key so you see the little timer icon. And then just drag. It's going to record the position and the speed at which you're dragging. When the CTI reaches the end or when you let go of the command key, tap the spacebar to preview animation. Sketch motion using the puppet pin tool is a very powerful and intuitive way that you can animate both the position and the speed of your animations by just simply dragging your cursor in Adobe After Effects CC 2024. And my name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.